A few weeks ago, I did a video on the AeroBand Pocket Drums, which are a pair of Bluetooth enabled drumsticks that allow you to play the drums without the need for an actual physical drum kit. And unfortunately, they aren't exactly very good. But in the comments of that video, I saw a few people comparing them to a toy from the 80s that works in a fairly similar way, but without all the Bluetooth and the apps and all that jazz. So I looked it up and after watching a couple of commercials that looked like they came straight out of a man man's fever dream. Hit this! Drive you crazy and you're about my two. Naturally, I went straight to eBay and picked myself up a pair of hit sticks. Oh, that's a much better way for me to spend my money, isn't it? Electronic drumsticks with amplifier. Play them in the air, play them anywhere. How could I resist with that kind of wordplay? If by the end of this video, I don't look as happy as this kid, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Create 44 different sounds while playing, including snare, bongo, and tom tom. Now I know this was made in the 80s, but what exact year was this made? 1989, so on the tail end of the 80s, going into the 90s. I think this actually might be the oldest toy I own now. It's like owning a piece of history that no one wanted, hence why it was on eBay. Now you've probably noticed that this is the Hit Sticks 2 and the reason I went for the second one over the original is because this one apparently has 44 different sounds which compared to the original one which only has one measly snare sample and it doesn't even sound like a snare the second one just seemed like a better choice. Now let's see if we can open this box without it decomposing on me. Ooh, all right. Okay, considering the condition of the box, I expected this to be in far worse condition, but this actually looks pretty good. There's no discoloring. The sticker on the amplifier is still intact. I'm feeling hopeful. I think this is going to work just fine. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't even looked what batteries we need. Please be double A, please be double A, please be double A. Ah, bollocks. Damn it, I need to go buy some batteries. The lights on, full volume. Ooh. It works! Oh god, it works, but my god is that noisy. So the build of the hit sticks are pretty straightforward. You've got your drumsticks here, which then connect via a wire to the amplifier just here. And on top of the amplifier, you can adjust the volume. And then you can switch between four different sounds on one stick and then adjust the tone on the other. And that's where I start to get a bit confused because on the box, it says that it has 44 different sounds, but I can only see four sounds on here and three different tones. And if you're including the different tones as different sounds, even then it doesn't equal up to 44 different sounds. I wish this came with instructions, but there was literally nothing in the box. So we're just gonna have to run with it. And also on the back of the amplifier, you've got a little clip so you can actually attach this to your belt or your trousers or your bag or anything like that. You know, like all the cool kids from the 80s and 90s. I'm sure any kid who had this strapped to their belt definitely wasn't being wedged on a regular basis. Check out that bad boy. Finally, I'm one of the cool kids. I've always wanted to be one of those. Hey guys, wanna hear a sick tune on my hit sticks? Ready? You were working a second ago, what's wrong now? Come on, work stick, stop embarrassing me in front of the people. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, it's a bit temperamental, but it's fine. I feel like I'm a little bit underdressed to be playing these things, so one minute. There we go, now we're vibing. So if you couldn't tell, that was meant to be the snare sample on a medium tone. And I think we can all agree, it doesn't really sound that much like a snare. All sounds pretty bad. Now you might think as these things are called hit sticks, you actually need to hit them against something to produce a sound. But really all you need to do is mimic the motion of drumming. And I can imagine there was a lot of kids back in the day who broke their hit sticks because they didn't know that because it says, Hit in the title. It's drumming. You're meant to hit things. That's part of the fun of it. Sound number two. I'm gonna guess that's meant to be the bongo sound and it doesn't really sound all that much like bongos. I wish this one would stop not working. Why did that work? All right, for the time being, we're gonna to stick to one stick. I guess that's what I get for buying a toy that's over 30 years old. Luckily, I can still adjust the tones with this stick. I just can't play anything with it. I do kind of like the way that when you adjust the tone when you're playing, it kind of like gradually goes to the next tone. It doesn't just straight away switch to a tone. Sound number three. You know what, that actually might be the best sample out of the whole lot so far. Oh, oh, he's back! 
And he's gone again. And the fourth and final sound. Ooh, kind of sounds like a laser phaser sci-fi sound. I'm pretty sure there's an actual proper name for that sample, but that's all that's coming to my head right now. Oh, God, these things are so temperamental, it's scary. Oh, no. No. All right, it's back to working about as well as you'd expect a 30 plus year old toy to work. And to be honest, it's probably working just as well as it did back in the 80s. It's just not very good. I really wish this thing was a bit more consistent because sometimes it really surprises me with how in sync it is with the motions and the sound, but most of the time it either doesn't work at all or the sounds don't match the motion whatsoever, which really makes for quite a frustrating toy. I really wish that the snare didn't sound like a drive-by. At this point, I'm just very confused as to where the other 40 of those 44 different sounds are meant to be. Because there's literally nothing else on the amp, there's no other buttons on the sticks to be able to change the sounds apart from the four that are already on there. So I have no idea where those other 40 are meant to be. I feel like it might have been a bit of a con and they just put that number on there to make it seem a lot better. But if you were to actually ask them about those 44 sounds, they'll give you some convoluted answer that if you switch between the tones, it actually changes the pitch multiple times. So you could actually hit different sounds as you play. I don't know. Hit sticks were one of those toys that were advertised well but didn't live up to their promise. Or where have I seen a toy like that before? So from what I can see online, it seems like the 44 different sounds are actually just a marketing ploy rather than something that you can do on the hit sticks. It's all just lies. Kids, don't listen to advertisements. Funnily enough, this isn't the only hit instrument they made, and yes, that's what they called them, hit instruments. I know. It sounds stupid. There's a hit guitar and hit keys, and they both look equally as ridiculous as the hit sticks. So you never know if they turn up on eBay one day, I might get them and try them out on the channel. But honestly, after trying out the hit sticks, I really hope that doesn't happen. Now I know there's really no point in me having a go at how bad this thing is, because it's been out of production for years, you can't even get it anymore, apart from the secondhand ones that you can find on eBay. But I do feel like the hit sticks might have laid down the groundwork for future air drumming devices, and honestly, they haven't really gotten that much better. Sure, the other devices have more samples, you can use them as MIDI controllers and all that, but the hardware itself is almost as fiddly and as temperamental as it was 30 years ago. Maybe one day we'll have the perfect air drumming experience, but right now the tech still feels quite similar to what you could get in the 80s. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, Luna, George Acock, and Luke Rees on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on our social pages. You can join us on our Discord server. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page where we are now uploading monthly exclusive content. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.